Next, politicians promise number three, they're going to solve our energy problem. You know, we're running out of this or we buy too much of it from Arab sheiks. Their solution, take your money and give it to Americans who make ethanol. Renewable, homegrown fuels. Ethanol subsidies bring both parties together. After all, Americans can grow it and create a nation that is stronger, cleaner, and more secure. One that protects our national security, safeguards our environment, and promotes economic growth. Ethanol, now is the time. No, it's not. Corn-based ethanol has been a case study in the law of unintended consequences. Oh my gosh, something I can agree with Senator McCain about. He could not see the unintended consequences of things like McCain-Feingold, but at least he sees them for ethanol subsidies. We should not be subsidizing ethanol. We're trying to change America's fuel consumption pattern. General Wesley Clark now fights for ethanol. In 2008, we paid over $50 billion to the Saudi government for imported oil. And we're still doing it, even though we're paying you guys a ton. The point is that the money that's paid on ethanol is money that stays within the American economy. It does, but at what cost? The Congressional Budget Office says for each gallon of gas replaced with ethanol, we pay $1.78 in subsidy. But at least our money stays in the country. It makes me feel good. I'm keeping the money in America. All these programs are designed to make people feel good. We're going to help the farmers and we're going to hurt the foreign oil producers with ethanol. And we don't look at what is not seen, which is the rising price of milk and the excessive amount of fertilizer and fuel that was used to produce this additional corn. Oh yeah, food prices are higher because so much farmland now goes to corn used for ethanol. And we consume lots of corn. Corn syrup sweetens thousands of foods. It helps create the meat we eat. Corn's our biggest item. Steve Fogelsong, who raises cattle, is mad that feed costs more now because ethanol is both mandated and subsidized. If you want to do the same thing for me that you're doing for the ethanol guy, then you have to mandate that absolutely every man, woman, and child in America has to eat 50 pounds of beef, and then you're going to turn around and give me $2 a hundredweight on these steers. Then we're at the same place. But the ethanol industry wants more subsidies while talking about free markets. You should have free market competition. Well, a free market means no subsidies. Exactly, but it also means- But you've been getting subsidies for years, stop. It's, we're ready to, we're ready to transition out of the subsidies, okay, but- Okay, tomorrow? Well, it depends. Can you give us a, a chance so that Americans can have a choice as to what they put in their, in their pumps? By choice, he means government should now pay to have gas stations install these special ethanol pumps. But government didn't install gasoline pumps, entrepreneurs did. If and the public wants it, it, service stations will do it. Why does the taxpayer well, have to pay 75 Because it's pounds? like anything else, you've got to get it started. You're a parasite feeding off the taxpayer. Stand on your own feet. We're ready to stand on our own feet. To do that, it needs a fair playing field. Fair? They want more subsidy when ethanol already gets 50 billion of your dollars? increases the cost of food, and as it turns out, isn't even better for the environment than gasoline. Corn ethanol is responsible for incredible environmental harm. Ben Schreiber works for the environmental group Friends of the Earth. The Green Lobby once supported ethanol, but now they say, The environmental consequences of corn ethanol are worse than the environmental consequences of gasoline. But this makes no sense. It was being done because of you environmental groups saying, oh, don't use oil, oil's bad. But now that we've studied corn ethanol m more fully, we realize that it actually has worse consequences than gasoline. So, whoops, we were wrong, but now we can't undo it? We're fighting to undo it. But government programs are almost never undone. Boondoggles live forever. You know, I said Cash for Clunkers was the dumbest program ever, but it's a lot smaller than ethanol, so ethanol might be pound for pound the dumbest program ever.